Greetings everyone, the good Sir Knight here, and today we're talking about concealed carry. Bet you have no idea. See, you think I'm just really, really thick. Then I'm just like, really a dude with a very nice Spanish ass and very wide childbearing hips. But then someone's like, hey, I got a knife. Give me your lunch money. I'm like, ho, 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 oh, sweet baby Jesus, yes, let's do this now. That's not what this video is about. This video is about Opscore. Now, I wasn't really planning on doing a lot of Opscore stuff, but uh, lo and behold, here we are. So it all started. Got my carbon fiber helmet, which we're not going to be talking about today, but this was the basis Opscore setup. It's comfortable. The band works, but we've more or less concluded uh, Team Windy is going to have the suspension system and everything you're going to want. So you can keep the shell and everything, swap it out with Team Windy, but all in all, it's the most popular one, and uh, the military loves it. Raiders are using them, so... Then we move in to a helmet. This is the Maritime. You can tell because this is four tall and not three. So, Ballistic Maritime. Oh yes, we're looking at some good stuff here today, so... Yeah, this thing weighs nothing. So, the reason it was picked up by Marsoc and everything is because there's a Ballistic Helmet. A helmet that weighs nothing is fantastic, especially when you're later going to add very heavy nods to it. Heavy nods and heavy helmet is a bad day. This uses the same. Everything's basically the same. It's just a higher cut, so I can fit my sword ends or whatever in here with far better ease. It's a bit higher like a fro. It offers... It does offer less protection than a lot of the other helmets, but it's so light. It basically is described as, would you rather have 80% of the protection 100% of the time, or would you rather have... 100% of the protection, only like 60% of the time, because it's hot and it's heavy, it sucks, you're going to want to take it off. So, you basically have the same things. This one actually has the skeleton shroud on it, which is the newer, lighter version, as opposed to the standard one I got there. And yeah, it's a fantastic little helmet. It's still got the rails. It's very slick. It's going to stop your handguns and fragmentation. And yeah, it's got the old school Velcro. These are dropping exponentially in price right now because they're coming out with the newer SF helmets. So, if you were looking to pick one up, they're no longer $16,000. You can start picking up a new for like eight, nine hundred. So, cool helmet. Just wanted to show it off to you guys. So, not really an official review. It's got all the same stuff internally as the uh, carbon fiber, but with a ballistic rated shell. So, nice little video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Cheers! And uh, you know, Velcro is actually worn out back there. Yeah, cool helmet. But ultimately, I think the airframe is still going to re remain superior, although far less used. Bit more weight, better coverage, but options, again, to each their own. So cheers, everyone, and uh, stay thick. T-shirt courtesy of uh, Quick Pump Tom. See you guys.